What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today, we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Montana 3781 RL. I'm really excited to get a video of this one. I've been waiting to see this one for quite a while because it has been a long time since we had one on our lot here. This thing is so special because you have an insanely huge island kitchen in here, a ton of open space on top of that island kitchen, and you have opposing slide outs in the bedroom. So you have slides on both sides of your bedroom, opening up more floor space and storage space in there as well. A lot of great things about this RV. And we have a customer that's here that purchased it from us at the Dallas RV show that's here from California. So they wanted me to make a video of this RV for them. And we do have more of these available as well, but they wanted me to make a video of theirs specifically since they came all the way out here from California to pick up this RV. So I'm really excited to do that for them as well. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video and like it, consider hitting that like button down below and definitely that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you want to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook are down below where I have a bunch of other RV content as well. And then finally, I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally help you out in finding and choosing your next RV and purchasing your next RV. So if you see something you like out of this RV or any other RV that you've seen for that matter, you can text me at the number on the screen and I would love to help you out. So that's everything. Let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So this is the 2022 Keystone Montana 3781 RL. It's about 41 and a half feet long to 42 feet long bumper to bumper. And we'll look at the specs right here. You also see the specs on the screen. But the unloaded vehicle weight is 13,520. You're going to have 7,000 pound axles on it. Gross vehicle weight rating of 16,600. And yeah, that's pretty much everything on here. The length, like I said, is about 41 and a half feet or so. And there's so many different types of floor plans out there and so many different models that will fit for what people want to do. But I really do believe this is one of the best full-time living couples fifth wheel models out there for people that want something that is big and has a lot of space. A lot of the reason why is the opposing slide outs in the bedroom area, but you also have a dual sink in the bathroom and you're going to have a huge living space in there that just, it feels so open when you walk inside. So we'll see that in just a second. Let's look at some of the things on the outside. You can see you have your docking lights up here on the really nice seven coat layer front cap here. So a really good finish on the front cap. You have the mirror here that is keystone's hitch vision so this is a patent from keystone you can see as you're backing your truck up you'll be able to look through that reflective mirror there to line your hitch up with the pin box here and this is coming with the road armor pin box so you have this about one inch thick rubber bushing here on the pin on the uh um, pin box that is going to pivot back and forth as you brake and accelerate and this moves within your hitch that is going to absorb a lot of that shock there coming up underneath here Get this open oh it's locked but that's okay we can see through from this side you're going to have your battery compartment here and then see all the storage space that you have in this area also going to have a battery disconnect there and i believe yeah that's all the components that we can see from in here so come around to this side auto leveling controls you do have six point hydraulic auto leveling so you're going to have four auto leveling stabilizers in front of the axles and then two more behind the axles so two on this side two on that side and then two more in total behind the axles over there on this side you're going to have a 30 pound propane bottle and your other 30 pound propane bottle will be on the other side so one on each side which is going to allow for open this up you can see you have solid metal slam latch doors when you open this up because you have your propane bottles on both sides you get a straight through shot here with your pass-through storage compartment. Absolutely humongous in here. You can see how big it is. You could definitely fit at least a twin size bed in this pass-through storage compartment. And you do have heat coming in here. So if someone wanted to sleep in here, theoretically they could. <laughs> but you have a inverter here for the residential refrigerator and then the solar charge controller, which this here is going to the 200 watt solar panel on the roof that is going to be monitoring the power going from the solar panel to the battery to keep your battery charged and every keystone trailer including this montana is coming standard with at least a 200 watt solar panel on the roof so a really good solar system there and you can expand upon it and add more solar um, some units we are even ordering with a 400 watt solar system that is going to 
have a little bit even more capabilities on it. So lots of different solar systems there. And Montana does go up to a 1200 watt solar system that will power the entire RV off of solar, but it is about $19,000. So just be aware of that if that is something that you're interested in, but it can be done. All right, this here, this is going to be all your water connections in this area. You have your outdoor shower. It'll come with a, about 25 foot coil hose that will hook up to that outdoor shower there. You have another solar connection if you wanted to put a solar panel out on the side of the RV. And then your key TV. So if you did install a satellite, you could get your different channels on each TV with a plug and play method that's super simple. So that is everything up underneath this RV. Uh, not not underneath the RV, underneath the pass-through storage compartment. Then we'll get under the RV where you'll see you have your sewer hose storage compartment right here. And you're going to have the drop frame construction. This drop frame right here allows them to add more space in the pass-through storage compartment. And then coming underneath here, you're going to have the enclosed underbelly. All of your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in this enclosed underbelly. We'll look at it again from the back. So your water lines and water tanks sit above that insulation, meaning whenever you have your furnace on, there's going to be heat that is being, um, that is, you have radiant heat, sorry, that is going into that storage compartment to keep your water tanks and water lines warm. And then in addition to that, you're going to have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks in this Montana. So you can flip those on as well and have an electric heat source, but you can see it's a really clean finished off underbelly. You have your spare tire underneath there as well. On your big slide outs here, these are gonna be hydraulic slides. So you can see you have the rack and pin mechanism there and it's gonna be a hydraulic slide out. The hydraulic slide outs are nice because they're incredibly fast. This whole slide will go in and out in under 10 seconds. Sorry, in one way or out one way in under 10 seconds, not in and out in under 10 seconds, but it moves really quick. So it's a nice quick system. Underneath here, you can see you have the road armor suspension. So. That road armor suspension is giving you six inches of travel. That is going to be the best out of the factory right now. It gives you three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down. So you have a nice improved suspension system on there. And then let's go look at something here real quick. And then you're gonna have G-rated tires for your tires up underneath there. So that's just about everything from this side. I do like that you have a light up here as well, right above your spot to dump your tanks that way if you need that light to see what you're doing it will shine down on this area i know it doesn't look like much now but in night conditions that light will be very bright on this entire area down here plus you have another safety light up underneath here as well to see as well so i believe in this model it looks like everything dumps out of this one spot here so all your black and gray tanks come out of this one area so no y connections needed to dump your tanks that's a nice little feature as well then as you come around here, you're going to have your 50 amp connection. This RV has three ACs on it. You see you also have reverse lights on your tail lights there. So I like that nice safety feature. And you have spot for a backup camera if you wanted to install a backup camera. You also get a 3000 pound towing hitch. So if you did want to tow cargo behind the trailer, you do have the capability to do that on this RV. Or you can put an accessory hitch back here as well for a generator or coolers or whatever you want, but you can tow off the back of this RV. Wanted to get up here real quick to show you the roof. I don't want to step on it because it's so pretty and white up here. You can see you have the three ACs and you have a 200 watt solar panel up here. Plus you have the WineGuard omnidirectional 360 degree antenna. And you have some attic vents up here that allow hot air and moisture to escape out of the attic cavity so that you don't have moisture or mold or mildew buildup in that attic cavity as well. So I just want to show you the roof real quick. It is fully walkable and you have fully walkable slide out boxes as well. Coming to this side, see your campsite here. You have a big awning over your living area there or your outside area here and an additional awning over your slide out or not over your slide out, but connected to your slide out. And you have the LED lights up underneath the awning. They just turned on a air compressor. LED lights underneath the awning so you get access to those even when the slides are in. And those are JBL speakers that you have out here as well. So you do have a JBL sound system. Finally, you have a spot to hook up a TV out here plus your central back connections as well. And then again, pass-through storage and 30 pound propane bottle in that compartment there. But that is gonna be everything on the outside of this RV. So let's go wander inside and see what makes this floor plan so awesome. 
As we head inside, I want to point out you have these steps that go really low to the ground. These are the more ride, um, what are they called? The more ride step above steps. I always get the liver and more ride names confused, but the more ride step above step, you can see it is a 3781 RL. And then as we go inside here, I want to talk about a couple different important things. Sorry, I, I felt like I was shouting over that air compressor they have out there. So I wanted to get inside here and talk about a couple different things. First of all, on your screen here, you have the screen defender. So it's gonna keep your screen safe from any pets. I like that. And then with this customer being from California, one really important aspect about our dealership that they're taking advantage of and a lot of other people take advantage of as well is we have a campground on our facilities here. So at our Dallas location, if you buy an RV from us, especially if you're out of state, but even if you're local, you can stay a couple days in your RV if you want here on our lot with full electrical and water hookups to try everything out, make sure everything works properly, make sure you understand how to do everything before you take it back home. That way, if you don't know how to do something, we're right here to help you out. Or if something isn't working properly, we're right here to fix it before you take it home or go on your first camping trip. So that's a huge thing that we offer here that I believe these, this couple from California are taking advantage of before they head back home. So that being said, look at how big this space is. You have all this floor space in front of your refrigerator. You can see the island doesn't even really come close to coming over as far as the refrigerator, but yet you still have a massive island space. So I love that. And then one thing that a lot of people are typically concerned about is the island coming too far over into where your TV is at, but you can see me sitting in the right recliner. It lines up with just inside of the armrest here. So if you're sitting either in the middle seat of this love seat or to the left, you almost, I mean, you ha you feel like the kitchen is just much further away than you do in like a 35 or 37 foot island kitchen model. So I love how open the space is. You can see there's so much floor space here. And then this is going to be a love seat type of setup. So this does flip down and you have the outlets that pop up. And then the sofa color that we're looking at, this is their cobblestone interior color. So with Montana, cobblestone is going to come with the gray cabinets. And then they also have their bourbon interior color where you're gonna have a dark brown sofa that comes with the gray cabinets. And they have their cottage white interior color that'll come with the dark sofas. And it's going to have white cabinets here, but you'll still have a gray island. So a couple different setups there that you have. Looking at this campsite here that we're looking at, I love that in this model, definitely full-time living focus, giving you the extra storage up here. And then as you can see, soft closed cabinets on every cabinet door and they're magnet latched. So I definitely prefer these magnet latches to the standard, I don't know what they would be called, but you know those standard latches that are on cabinets? If someone knows the name of what those are, put those down in the comments below. But you have an actual magnet latch on there, so I definitely prefer that. And that storage is gonna help out for full-time living. Plus you have the storage up over the sofa here that goes all the way through unobstructed. So some additional storage to help with that. This sofa will make out to a king size bed. So it'll come to right about where this floor vent sits if you were to open that up. And then you do have floor vents in this Montana. I like that they narrowed them up so they're much skinnier. So not as much potential for debris to fall into there. But they do the floor vents because that is the same way that a home is has their furnace ducting set up. It's all through the flooring here. So that's going to be the most efficient ducting system in heating an RV. When you have heat vents coming out of the island or anything like that, that is going to mean that you're using dryer hoses that have bends and curves in them, which is going to decrease the amount of airflow ultimately that makes it into your RV. So this is just a straight line vent that is going to give you the maximum amount of airflow for your furnace. So, but I really like how they narrow those up so they look much more clean. You have your dinette table here. It will have two more additional chairs that are probably in the, uh, wardrobe storage this table will lift up here and you can see you have the extended leaf that you can drop down plus you'll have a little bit of storage space underneath there as well all of your windows will have the pull down blackout shades and then just really nice lighting finish throughout here you can see the led lights that you have plus all the other um, lights that are on the ceiling. But what I really like about this lighting system is you can turn every light off except for just the LED lights. And that makes a really cool 
bright, not bright, but like cool toned ambiance in here that is great for nighttime lighting. You also on this slide out have a dimmer switch. So if you wanted to dim these lights here, you can see there's a dimmer control. And when I slide that down, you can dim those lights to whatever lighting you want in the slide out as well. All right, moving over to your entertainment space, you're going to have a big fireplace here. It has four different colors on it. So I'll show you, I, actually, I don't think I've actually ever showed all the colors in a video. So you have an orange without the flame, with the flame, blue, purple, and that's gonna be all your color options that you have there. I prefer the purple, that's my favorite, but that's just my personal preference. You have a JBL sound system, so your speakers in here have both a tweeter and a mid-range speaker, so you have two different speakers sitting in this one speaker casing, and then you have behind the TV, I don't wanna unstrap their TV, but you have a subwoofer back underneath there, and you have additional storage shelves back behind the TV as well. This subwoofer also has a gain control knob. That's what that blue light is down there. You can actually control the individual volume of the subwoofer depending on your preference. So I really like that. And you even have a speaker in the bathroom as a part of this sound system. So pretty cool stuff. Really big storage compartment up above the TV. And then you're going to have all of your different island storage up underneath here pull out drawers this is all solid hardwood cabinetry that you have spot for your trash can underneath there soft closed cabinets all this space that opens up underneath here if it sounds like i'm struggling to open these cabinet doors it's because those magnet latches are strong they really hold those in place well so that is why it might sound like a bit of a struggle but all your storage space there and then you do have the tire pressure monitoring system so it comes with this tire pressure monitoring system and then this here is pretty unique on your awning you actually have a power rail on the awning and this light here will slide into that power rail so you can get additional lighting off your awning as well so pretty cool stuff but all montanas are now coming standard with a um, tire pressure monitoring system you're going to have a 70 30 style sink so basically that means you have the really big basin there that is huge these are stone countertop um, or stone sink toppers, so they are pretty heavy. And then you have another smaller basin sink there. In this kitchen space, you're going to have an outlet on the island. Come around here and should be an outlet on this side as well. Yep. Uh, looking at this space too, just want to point out all the outlets real quick. You do have an outlet underneath here as well. You also have this little chair buddy system where... We'll actually get these in place for them. When you lift this up, this right here, it's a strut assisted. There we go. Get that underneath there. Strut assisted system that is going to help hold your chairs in place. So that's going to put pressure down on them to hold those chairs in place there. Something that they put on the Montanas. That's a little neat feature. Um, coming back to the kitchen space, going back to the outlets, you have a pop-up outlet on each side. So this is going to have USB ports and plugs on that pop-up and on this one. So you have all these different outlets. If you were to expand the solar system and add another inverter, you could start getting power to your outlets from the inverter as well. Nice looking. This is not an actual tile backsplash, but a nice looking faux tile backsplash that you have there really huge drawer next to the oven it's hard to tell even how big this is on camera i feel like but really big drawer that you have there and just because of how long your living space is these storage compartments are super wide so really love that storage up above your mic or next to your microwave it's going to be the identical on the other side as well to what that is and then you have your spice rack in here as well. Um, as far as the price goes, the MSRP on this is $123. Um, I'm not a big fan of putting the pricing on YouTube because the pricing is can literally be different for every individual unit. So I don't even know if we have a same Montana model with the same floor plan that's at the same MSRP. Um, they might have different options on them, I don't know. But the MSRP on this one is $123. I don't remember exactly what this couple bought it for, but I 
I'm pretty sure it was right around 100. I didn't actually work the numbers with them on it. Um, one of my other associates at the show did. And so I don't know what the final price came out to, but I would imagine it was somewhere right around 100. So that gives you kind of an idea on price on this unit. Like I said, that can change, so don't quote me on it. But if you are, before I open this up, if you are interested in this RV, I should say this. I am in a sales position. I would love to help you out and personally help you with getting your next RV. So if you are interested in this RV or any other RV that you've seen for that matter, you can text me at the number on the screen there. And I would love to help you out and help you get into your next RV and be a part of that process. So you can text me at the number on the screen there and I would personally help you out and direct you in finding your next RV. They got a washer dryer installed in here. So this area is where the washer dryer would go in this floor plan. This could also be like a coat closet, but they're using it for a washer dryer space. Really solid feeling heavy door. And then a huge additional storage compartment up there. That's gotta be almost three feet back. That thing is massive. All of your controls are gonna be in this drawer here. And then you have some pantry space up under here as well. Finally, another huge storage compartment there that could be used as pantry space also. Going into the hallway, you can see another unique thing about this floor plan is your hallway, you're typically used to seeing it usually on this side of the RV, but they actually have it on the opposing side. And I guess before I get there, getting ahead of myself, should show the refrigerator as well, because you do have the GE refrigerator, which is going to give you the water spout inside the fridge. See a nice big space there, and you will have an ice maker down in the freezer portion. They got some tape holding that in place, but you do have the ice maker there and freezer compartment. And I think I skipped over the cooktop too in the oven. I'm just, I'm going too fast through this, getting ahead of myself. You have a three burner cooktop with the glass cover over it to increase countertop space. And then a really nice looking, this is like almost a uh, commercial looking oven that you have here. And this is a real big size oven underneath there. Plus pull out drawer there too. So nice looking setup in the microwave. It is going to be a convection oven microwave combo. And now I think that completes everything in this area. Oh, no, nope. wait, there's one more thing. I forgot to show this too. The steps that are outside of this trailer, they are somewhat heavy, but it is strut assisted. So it'll be zero weight as you're lifting that up and putting them down. That way, if you bring these out of the trailer, cause they just fold up into the trailer, as you drop those down, if it were to slip out of your hand or you didn't have it, you know, didn't anticipate the weight properly, it's going to keep you protected because the strut will prevent that from falling on you. So like that as well. Okay, going up into the bedroom, you have a floor sweep there as part of the central vac system. So big fan of that, that will allow you to get rid of your dustpan and it'll suck all that dust and pet hair and whatever else is on your floor up into the step. You have a nice double railing going up the stairs and a huge window here in the hallway. You can see you have your bedroom to the back there, but first we have your bathroom here with a dual vanity setup and the nice bowl sinks. Big fan of those in the Montana. I know they're polarizing. Some people hate them, some people love them. I'm on the side of people that love them, but that's just me. But I love this setup. You get the dual sink, porcelain toilet, and a fiberglass one piece shower. You see all the natural light that comes in here through the skylight. You have a seat in the shower as well, and then the black appliances, and you can adjust your shower head to sit at whatever height is comfortable for you there. So big fan of this setup, and it doesn't even stop there. You also have all this additional really deep storage back behind the door. Look at how far back that goes. All three of those will go that far back. Then you have this nice little magnet catch on the door there so it'll catch it right there prevent it from hitting anything and hold it in place hold it open and then you can see your dual sink setup in here with your two mirrors plus you'll have your medicine cabinet that is a little bit deeper than normal four drawers that pull open and then you'll have storage space underneath each sink as well so really nice bathroom space looks beautiful really elegant looking and like i was saying you have a speaker in the bathroom so you can do shower karaoke with ease don't even have to bring another speaker in here you also have a max air fan in here as well so good airflow getting out of the bathroom also all right coming into the bedroom you have a slide out on this wall it is a shallow slide out but a, a slide out nonetheless 
and a slide out here, opening up more floor space in the bedroom. You also have additional walking space on this side of the bed. You have walking space on both sides, but added space on this side of the bed. And you have an outlet over here, your AC controls here. I should mention this RV has three ACs on it. I didn't, I don't even think I mentioned that. Yeah, three ACs. So you can see you have your third AC there as well. So three ACs that can all be ran on the 50 amp service. And then you have in this slide out, all this additional wardrobe storage that gets pushed out of the way because it's in the slide. So you can still keep your floor space. You'll see how deep all of these drawers are that you have here. Open this up, you have all your shelving and then identical drawers there. So you get six drawers plus those three shelves, TV in the slide out as well, and all this countertop space for any of your bedroom accessories or decorations. So really like that. Plus it gives you a nice big window on the opposing wall. So you get four windows in total in this bedroom. Really like how they went to these above the window nightstands. So you have your USB ports and outlets here with this nightstand above the window. That way you're not hitting your head as if you had one sitting here underneath the window, like a lot do, they stick out over the bed, take up some of your sleeping space. So you don't have that with this being above the window. Also have a really cool nightlight system where you have this little halo light that gives a nice ambiance and then you have a direct reading light as well. And that'll be on both, over both individuals in here. Finally, you're going to have storage underneath the bed as well as we finish up this bed area. You can see your extra chairs down underneath there and your central back hose that is in there. It's all framed out and finished, so it looks nice. And then finally in your wardrobe, you're going to have a clothing rod that goes all the way across, two supports on that clothing rod. You have all this shelving space underneath here. And then if we open these up the other way, don't want to leave any fingerprints on their stuff. Try my best. You'll see all the open space there. You have to hang really long items and you have a designated hamper as well. So really cool design with this bedroom, having the opposing slides, definitely a fan of that. I'd like to see that in, in more models, really having the opposing slide out. Okay, last thing I wanna talk about before we exit the bedroom is the AC system in here. I wish I had it on because it's starting to get hot in Texas again. But this has a residential grade MERV 9 air filter in it. So you are getting residential quality air filtration in here and you could also swap this out with just a standard residential air filter. So easier to do that as well. This here is going to filter out things like dust, dead skin cells, all those little particles that the standard AC filters in RVs just didn't get before. So a much better, cleaner air system, also gonna keep your ducting cleaner over time. And then you have these blade AC vents. This was a huge innovation by Keystone because Keystone now has this in all of their trailers. This here pushes air out in a 360 degree motion. So compare that to the directional vents that we are used to seeing. And this gives you significantly more air coverage as your air comes out of this AC. And that is something that Keystone studied for a long time and found that it's a 20% more efficient system, meaning it cools down RVs up to 20% quicker because you just have so much more airflow coming out of these vents. And you do have little blocks up in there. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it's really hard to show, but basically how you twist these vents will determine how much airflow comes out of each vent. If you want it to pass through this vent and go to the next one, you can turn it a certain direction here. Or if you want it to drop down through this vent, you turn it a different direction. You can tell that indicated by where the text is on the blade vent there. So love that system. You have a sliding pocket door going out of the bedroom. And this is just an absolutely awesome floor plan. I'm a huge fan of it, but y'all let me know down below in the comments what you think of this floor plan. I think it's great for people living, looking to live in something full time. And obviously Montana makes a beautiful fifth wheel and there's a reason they've been the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for over 20 years in a row. Cause they make a great product and it looks beautiful. Something else I didn't even talk about on the construction side, there's literally two things that I missed cause there's just so much to talk about. You have a single piece, one uh, single piece marine grade flooring underneath here. It's called Dynaspan. The subflooring underneath here is completely water resistant. Keystone has a 25 year warranty on that subflooring and they have never had a warranty claim on that. And then when you compare Montana to something like Solitude, this is something I always like to show and point out. If you look at a Grand Design Solitude, which typically costs about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars more than a Montana, and you lift up their carpeting on a slide out, it is literally just exposed wood underneath there. On a Montana, you have a wrapped subflooring and a layer of astrofoil insulation as well. 
So you have two different things that are protecting your subflooring from any moisture damages. Plus you have this woven plastic PVC style carpet that is really flexible, but also really rigid that is going to protect your subflooring as well. So a couple different construction elements. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's getting hot in this trailer and I'm starting to sweat, so I'm about to get out of here and get some AC for a second. But if you like the video, hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.